Hi, I'm Angel with FleeceFun.com and today I'm going to show you how to make this really cute high-low cape. It's got, you know, it's kind of high in the front and drapes down long in the back and has this really cute kind of pixie hood. For this project, you will need the following. For this project, you will need two and a half yards of 60 inch wide fleece belt or jersey knit for the exterior, two and a half yards of 60 inch wide duck cloth or home decor fabric for the lining. I found mine for really inexpensive at Ikea. Buckle or clasp, sewing essentials, scissors, pins, sewing machine, that sort of thing, and Fleece Fun's free pattern that is available on fleecefun.com. All right, now that you have all those items, it's time to cut out the pattern. Assemble the pattern. You can find instructions on fleecefun.com's channel. On folded cloth, place the pattern on the fold and cut out one of the exterior along the outer black line. When you cut out the neck, be sure to cut out the notches to make lining up the hood easier. Now that you've had the neck cut out, it's time to cut apart the cloth in front so you have two sides so the cape is open in the front. Simply cut along that fold up to the neckline on the short side of the cape. Now, I did try to make this pattern as simple as possible so you didn't have to assemble like the lining and the exterior. So what you'll do is you'll make sure that you cut out the exterior first and then cut it down to the lining. Now, cut down the cape piece to the pink line. Cut one of the lining like you did the exterior, again, on the fold, and be sure to add notches for the neckline. Cut out two of the hood exterior. Again, be sure to make the notches. Cut the hood pattern down along the pink line. Cut two of the hood lining of the cloak. All right, now that you have all those items cut out, it's time to start sewing. Using a turning foot or make a baby hem, Finish the edge of the lining fabric, except for the neckline and the straight sections in the front. Set aside. Okay, let's get the hood put together. With right sides together, sew the top and back of the hood lining using a half inch seam allowance. Be sure to leave the front and neck open. With right sides together, sew the top and back of the hood exterior using a half inch seam allowance. Again, be sure to leave the front and the neck open. Now it's time to bring the lining and the exterior of the cloak hood together. With right sides together, pin the hood lining and the exterior together at the front. Sew together using a half inch seam allowance. Clip the curves of the lining and the exterior for the hood so it will lay smoothly. Flip the cloak hood right side out. Tuck the lining back into the cloak hood and line up the notches. See how the exterior comes into the lining a little bit? That's on purpose. Make sure the notches line up. Okay, let's work on the lining. There is the interior of the hood and the exterior of the hood. We will add a cape to each side. Pin the lining to the interior of the hood, right sides together, lining up the notches. Sew together along the interior neckline using a half inch seam allowance. Clip the curves. Now it's time to add the cloak exterior. With right sides together, pin the exterior cape to the exterior of the hood. Please note that when you pin the cape to the outer hood, there will be an inch left over on either side that we're going to tuck in later. So make sure that you have that inch left over on either side. Sew together along the neckline using a half inch seam allowance. Again, clip the curves along the neckline. Flip the cloak so the lining is tucked into the cloak and the exterior is, of course, on the outside. Okay, just one more little thing and it's finished. Remember those front sides that we didn't finish on the lining? Now it's time to finish them. Fold the exterior fabric over towards the lining so it covers the raw edge of the lining. Pin. Using a zigzag stitch, sew down along the edges of the exterior so it's folded inward along the front.
place the clasp or buckle where you want it to be in the front and sew into place. You're finished with how to make a cloak. And that's it. You have this nice dramatic cape that will work for many different cosplay um, costumes and that sort of thing. Oh, and before I forget, all of the capes on my website, fleecewood.com, they have different hoods. They're all interchangeable. So let's say, for example, you like this cape, but you don't necessarily like the hood, but you like the hood on, say, the uh, my long cloak. Switchable or vice versa. If you wanted to put this hood on a different kind of cape on my website, you can. Yeah, I'm a thinker like that. <laughs> Thank you so much for checking out this video. Please give me a thumbs up for my hard work and hey, free pattern. Yeah, you're welcome. Also, be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on another free pattern that I'm offering with a tutorial. Oh, and I also have a recommended video that you might like. And, uh, oh, and a link to the pattern because you know you might want that. So do you do cosplay? I'm curious. Let me know in the comments below. And have a great day. Remember, velvet is pretentious. Fleece is fun. <laughs>